Good morning and hey howdy to you. We're up on the ladder today and we're working on some trims, some LED trims. So if in your house you have the old trims, you know what I'm talking about, they got the fat bulbs and then the ring and you can look up around the bulb and you see spider webs and dust and whatever else up in the attic. A lot of people want to get rid of those. And so this, if you want to get more light in your kitchen or the area where you have old recessed lighting, this is low hanging fruit. You can do this. Anybody can do this. So I'm changing out. This is my classroom. And we have, if you look at here, this light is kind of warm. And I don't know, Paul, from your angle, you can look at the other trims. So there in the far left is 4,000K. This one in the middle is super white. That's 5,000K. And then to your right, that's the one we're changing now. It's 3,000K. It's pretty warm. So on all of these, most of your older bulbs, if they're incandescent, are going to be pretty warm. Okay, and then real quick, the Kelvin scale, if you look, almost any bulb you buy nowadays from a big box store, you flip around on the back, there's going to be a scale or a spectrum. On the left, you'll see a gold color like 25, 2700, and as that number goes up, it gets bluer and whiter. So depending on what your preference is. So here's the big win today for us. Uh, this is one of the trims we use in our company, and you can find like something like this, Amazon, box stores, but you'll see a little lever back here. What this does, depending on what the angle is, this allows me to set it from, well, it's small for old men, 3000K, which is pretty warm. Sorry, that's 5000, let me flip it. That tells you how blind I am. From 2700K on top, which is super warm and yellow, all the way down to 5000, which is super white, almost blue. And so I'm setting it to 5000, because uh, in this classroom I want to have a little crisper light. So you could do the same thing I'm doing right now. The only difference would be is you probably wouldn't already have an LED trim. You would have a bulb and a ring. But it's going to be the same. You're just going to, most of your trims, you're just going to grab the, the lip if it hasn't been painted over. And you'll either have two V-clips. Ow! That's hot. You should turn yours off. Be smarter than James. All right, you have two V-clips or you have two long springs. Okay? And then on most of these, the older trims, the springs, there's just guard your eyeballs. Because there's going to be a pile of stuff up there that's been up there for years. It's going to get in your eyes. I know from experience. What you're looking for is these little C hooks right here. You see that? There's another, there's a corresponding pair over here. That's where you want to put your clips. Okay. Once you take out your old trim and your bulb, you're going to have some version of this socket left. Just depending on how old it is. Okay. So here's the stop sign. If you don't have these clips, or if they're pushed in, the, or they're not here, or the inside of the can is a lot bigger than the opening, you got to do some adjusting. Most of you, though, are going to have something like this. So all you're doing, and I'm just doing this with the lights on because I'm being lazy. I'm going to screw this in and blind Paul. Hang on, let's not blind Paul. There we go. I'm going to screw it in until the light comes on. You take your two springs, get that up there in the C-clips. Other C-clip. Push it up flush. Done. It's that easy. So here's a huge advantage for you. And you'll see the light difference versus the beginning of the video. This is so white and crisp. There's a lot of places you may want light that's that, that color, that crispness. Um, here's the big win. This puts out a thousand lumens, maybe 1100 lumens very bright. So if you're in your kitchen, you have the traditional uh, BR40 bulb that's a 65 watt, it puts out maybe 500 lumens or 600 lumens and you think, God, my kitchen sucks for light, it's so dark. Change out the trim, okay? You don't have to do any electrical work, you just change out the trim. You have a, a trim that's going to last for 50,000 hours on the median, it's a long time, and they're dimmable, okay? You can't, you can't lose. So give this a shot in your house, okay? Or do it in the friend's house if you're not sure. That way if it goes sideways, it's on him. Um, just joking, it's fantastic. Um, try this out today. If you've got some recessed lights, try it out. You'll, you'll like it. Once you get in the hang of changing these out, you can change out, gosh, eight or 10 of these comfortably in an hour. Again, the safety part, if you're not sure or if the wiring is super old, shut the power off, okay? The second part is guard your eyeballs. 
When you're taking down old trims, it is full of garbage. There's stuff that's fallen in there from the attic over the last, whatever, 20 or 30 years, and it will come out on you when you lower it, believe me. The other ways, enjoy that. Um, go to our YouTube channel. I'd love you guys to share some pictures if you do this, because again, it's an easy win. You don't have to call an electrician. Uh, there's no wiring. Uh, you just, just got to do it. So go out there, make your kitchens or your living rooms look fantastic, and you guys have a great day. Thank you much.